Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are a pumpkin spice lover, just like me, then you are in for a treat because I am pumpkin spice obsessed. I love everything from pumpkin spice lattes, um, pumpkin spice bread, pumpkin pie, which we're gonna be making all of that. Let me know which is your favorite pumpkin spice recipe um, down in the description below. But today what we're gonna be making is a pumpkin spice cheesecake. Now, I love making cheesecake, I love making pumpkin pie, but usually the thing that um, holds me back from making a lot of these things is that it takes so much time in the oven. So today we're actually making it in the microwave. This is literally gonna take 90 seconds to cook. It's gonna take us just a few minutes to throw all this together. I prepped some of the ingredients just so it doesn't look so messy, but um, we have our cheesecake pumpkin puree. So this, if you're trying to keep it super, super low carb, then you wanna use the 100% pure pumpkin because if you use the pumpkin pie, which is very, very different, um, it's gonna be loaded with carbs and loaded with sugar. So this one here, you can see the only ingredient is pumpkin, just one ingredient. So that's kind of like what you're looking for when you're making this recipe. If not, it'll still turn out, it'll still be super delicious, but it's going to be a lot higher in sugar and in calories and in carbs. What we're gonna start off with is our cream cheese. We're just gonna um, toss this into the microwave just so it's nice and smooth because it, it's just gonna make everything a lot easier. So we'll toss it in for about 30 seconds and then um, we'll incorporate the rest of the ingredients, okay? So what we'll do is combine it right into our mug. And for this one here, I'm just gonna use like a little clear mug so that you can see everything going in. Meanwhile, we could already start. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull out our cream cheese because we actually just need this softened. Yes. So this is probably going to be perfect, yeah. So do you see how easy that is to mix? Very, very easy. It's gonna be this is perfect to like combine all the ingredients. Okay, beautiful. It looks almost like a, kind of like a cream. So we'll just add in our cream cheese first, just because it's kind of like the main ingredient here. So just add in your cream cheese. That's your first step. Add in your softened cream cheese. Just make sure it's softened. If it's not, honestly, it's just gonna be a lot more work to get all the, the rest of the ingredients to incorporate or to like mix in, okay? And then we have our pumpkin, right? Which I have right here. We're gonna add that in. It's just gonna add that pumpkin flavor. To be honest with you, where all the flavor really comes in is in our pumpkin pie spice. So you can grab this literally anywhere. Amazon, Trader Joe's, um, you can literally find it at every store. So the pumpkin pie spice is where all the flavor comes from gonna add that in and don't worry I'll have the full recipe in the description below for you you want to make sure you add in a good amount now you can also use cinnamon but the cinnamon's not gonna have the nutmeg or the cloves or any of that so you definitely do want the pumpkin pie spice okay let's give this a good mix and then we're gonna add in our egg okay so you can see how that just all mixes in so easily And you can actually double this and make it into a bigger, you know, just make like a bigger portion. So this here is obviously just like a personal size. This is, you don't wanna go through the hassle of making like a big portion of it. If you guys wanted to make like a full size um, pumpkin cheesecake, then I'm gonna leave that linked in the description below. I do have a video that has a full recipe that will go into the oven. This one here is going into the microwave and it's just a very, very simple, version of a pumpkin cheesecake. So adding your egg, now we mix that together. This is what it's gonna look like. I just wanna show you the texture that you are looking for. Okay, and then last but not least, we need our sweetener. So I like using just some allulose. That's what I have here. I'm just gonna toss that in because obviously we need it sweetened, nice and sweet without all the sugar. Mix this to just to make sure that everything is well combined. So literally whatever it takes you to, to toss all the ingredients in here, that's what it'll take you to throw this together. And now, see, so this is it. This is what it looks like. Okay, 
So just so you know the temperature, I mean, just so you know the consistency that you are going to um, look for, okay? And now let's toss this in. It's going in for a minute and a half. And um, you will have the easiest of the easiest pumpkin cheesecake. So I can't wait to show you the texture. You're gonna love it. I cannot wait for you guys to make this, seriously. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna pick up really quickly because you know it just makes life so much easier when you actually pick up while you cook. If not, guys, I'm telling you, sometimes my kitchen looks like a tornado hit it because I'll cook this and that and this and that and then you have stations here and there. So anyway, I've been trying to get better at it because guys, it just makes life stressful. So anyway. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right when it comes out, but then we will let it set a little in the fridge and then I'll show you the final texture on this. Guys, get ready, get ready for this. So, I don't know if you could actually see it from here, but as you can see, there are those bubbles, which means obviously the center's cooked. It's not raw, right? You would think that um, at a minute and a half, it might not be fully cooked, but it is. So. Right now, I could actually very carefully kind of run a little butter knife through it and then flip it over and let it sit. I'm just gonna let it sit right in the mug. I feel like it just, you know, it's just easy. So we're gonna toss this in the fridge, let it set, and then I will show you the final product. All right, let's go ahead and check on our, let's check on our little pumpkin cheesecake. That looks good. And we gotta top it with a little bit of whip. I just picked up this zero sugar one. I know it's not the healthiest, but um, this is just a very quick dessert, you know? For what those, you know those days where you're just like, I really want something super quick and I want it to be good and delicious. Okay, so I'm just running my butter knife through here just to make sure that it's not stuck and turn it right over. I don't wanna like slam it because that's the thing. It's nice and thick. Okay, this is not like cake consistency. This is a cheesecake consistency. I don't wanna break my plate. So we're going to take it out this way. Okay, and now you can, in my opinion, you can't really have like pumpkin anything without whipped cream. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice latte, everything just tastes better with whip. So, top it with your little whipped cream and finish it off with a little bit of cinnamon. Guys, this is such an easy dessert. And like I mentioned, you can make a double batch, but sometimes we just want, you know, we just want a little, like if you're like me and worry about portion control, this is perfect because you're not gonna overeat. And I have a really big sweet tooth, so it's really, really easy for me to overeat something like this because it's delicious, it's creamy, I love cheesecake, I love pumpkin pie. This is just like the perfect combination. So um, this way I am able to enjoy it and then call it a day and I don't feel super guilty about, you know, like eating half of a, half of a, like a pumpkin pie or half of a cheesecake. Cause guys, trust me, it's happened. You know, we're not gonna talk about it, but it's happened. All right guys, so I decorated this for the blog. Remember at lowcarblove.com is where I have all of the recipes, but now the sun is coming through the window. So let's come over here so I can do the last thing that is left to do, which is the taste test here. Let me show you how it looks inside. Take a look at that. I want you to see that it is not like a cake. This is actually the consistency of cheesecake, which Avi, that's what we're making. So <laughs> I hope that's what, you know, what it's like. But so a little, little taste, a little bit of our whip. Whip is super important for this. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm, guys, not too sweet. Not too dense because I also don't like a dense cheesecake. Mmm. Wow, you guys are gonna love this. Guys, I don't know, like, yeah, I mean, this, it's just cheesecake. It's a pumpkin cheesecake. Like, you cannot tell that it's low carb. Um, that's what I love about a lot of my desserts. A lot of the cakes. Um, this one is obviously so easy. It's literally made in the microwave. Like, what more can you ask for? You know what I mean? Um, but if you wanted to make a big batch, I have a pumpkin cheesecake recipe, which I'll leave linked for you guys so you guys can make it like for the familia, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. Um, but this one here is like 
make it during, you know, you can make it in the morning to enjoy it for dinner and even split this between you and your hubby, you and your, you know, dog, whatever, you and your kids. I feel like it is nice and rich. You guys are gonna love it. I cannot wait for you to make it. If you guys like videos like this where it's super, super easy, quick desserts, hit that like button. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. And don't forget to share. Share these recipes with your friends and family, especially if they're diabetic, because a lot of, most of my recipes on here are diabetic friendly. Or if someone is just trying to cut sugar out of their life, maybe even just living like a low carb lifestyle, this is like, imagine you can have this. This is low carb, it doesn't have sugar. So anyway, Make sure you share my videos with, with your friends and family, but thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.